minutes. Without further ado, let us say hello to John Hathaway. There he is. Hello, John. How are you? Hey, guys. I'm very well. Thank you very much for having me on again. Oh, it's it's a pleasure and congratulations. Uh, it has been a while since you were celebrating a victory on a Monday after a weekend. Could you even put into words what it felt like to get your hand raised after all these years? Uh, it, it felt great. You know, the whole, uh, just the whole thing, the, the entrance, everything, just the, the week building up to it. It's just kind of great to just be back in the in the mix and the feel of it. And obviously something that, you know, I haven't felt for, for God, nine years now it's probably been. So it was just, just a really enjoyable experience. Would you say there was a time probably where you thought you'd never get that experience again, right? You Like this is this is a gift. Oh, most certainly. It definitely gets, I mean, it, I was always hoping for it and stuff like that, but there's definitely a, there was a good chance that it was just never going to happen and stuff. But, and you know, uh, I know my wife as well in the, in the week building up when I was actually already over there, she called up the uh, the surgeon and just uh, left a message with him being like, you know, just, just thank you so much for getting us back basically to, wow. to this point, to being able to compete. So, Did he reply? Uh, he hasn't yet. So uh, he's probably uh, quite yeah. a busy guy, Mr. Clark. But I mean, you know, as I said, he was just always one of those surgeons where like, he could just feel you with confidence. You know, he's one of them guys who could tell you it's, it's dark outside when it's light and you'll just be like, oh, okay, like, you know, dark outside. So it's, it's going to be good. So. Yeah, you managed to uh, get me back to this point. So, yeah, I'm just super happy. And obviously the team and everything's kind of gone right for us. That's amazing. Now, um, we spoke about, you know, this is your first time in a very long time or was your first time fighting outside the UFC. Here you are with this new promotion, Octagon, which I keep hearing such great things about in terms of the shows they put on, the crowds, etc. What was the experience like with them? The whole fight week and then the event itself. What did you make of the experience? Absolutely great experience. Again, uh, it's a very well-run show. I got to go to the, it was the festival, like in Frankfurt, and it was just an incredible venue. Obviously, a slightly almost different venue where it was like almost, a, I think it's mainly made uh, used for kind of like singing kind of concerts and stuff like that. But the the hall was just amazing, you know, an, an older kind of like beautiful architecture from the outside. And we managed to get there the day before as well and kind of see the internal parts of it as well. But, you know, great show, great venue. It was packed. It was fully sold out. So uh, especially for the last couple of fights where I managed to get out and watch them uh, outside of kind of a, the change rooms area. It was just a great atmosphere out there. And in terms of how they treated you, like from a professionalism standpoint, what was it like? Yeah, treated me absolutely great. Again, I got out there on the Thursday. So I think it was, was kind of good. Again, did a little weight cut uh, Friday morning. Weighed in fine and uh, weigh-ins were all nicely done whole day was nicely done so nice. i had kind of like a little bit of, bit of filming kind of camera work to do do the photo shoots and stuff which is kind of normal for any show and um yeah just a very well run show great guys at the octagon show by the way uh speaking of uh the weight cut i mean i saw you 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 appear to be in phenomenal shape you've always been in phenomenal shape but it's been a while since you had a, a proper weight cut like that what was it like how did yeah. the body handle it uh, i mean i guess that was the going into the big unknown do you know what i mean not having a large power on like I think I've, I've got down before for like some grappling competition to about 81. So I was like, I knew I could get to 81. And like, I knew from there, I used to easily be able to sweat out kind of from that weight. But I mean, by the end of it, I think we did uh, about a kilo. It was about 15 minutes in the bar, 15 minutes under blankets. And then that was it. I was uh, 77.4. It was in the end, but you know I mean, so nice and easy again. And it was more like, it's not knowing like how I was going to bounce back. Yeah. Like, is the body going to be all right absorbing water back um, from there and kind of like getting in food and stuff like that? Or is it just going to have a bit of a shutdown and, and just not not function the way it's meant to function? And how was it? How did it respond? Absolutely fine. Wow. I mean, I touched, touched wood, everything was great. Like, came back up. I probably walked back in. I mean, I was, I was under 84 for the match, but I felt good. That's the main thing. It's not necessarily how much, much weight you kind of come back on. It's just being able to perform, being fast, and being able to kind of like keep it going for 15 minutes. Were you nervous about that, how your body would respond, not to the fight itself, but just like to the rehydration process? Was that something that worried you? I mean, probably more nervous about that than the actual competition, you know, at least wow. on the competition side of thing, like, at least I've managed to do that in the gym. But it's kind of whether I wanted to go through, I guess, the process a couple of weeks out of, of doing a cut and seeing how it kind of went back up. But I just kind of, uh, I guess, had faith in that my body would be able to uh, be able to do it. But you were like, obviously, day before, you're like, hope this goes well, you know? <laughs> Wow. I, said, like, I was going to make the weight. It was just how it was going to come back on and how, right, right, how right. it was going to feel. So. At what point did you feel like, all right, uh, I'm in the clear here? Because I'm, I'm, I'm assuming like for a few hours, you're probably wondering, like, how's the body going to respond? When did you start to feel at ease that everything was going to be okay? Pretty much, to be honest, throughout the whole thing. Because I said, I, my memory of like, obviously, weight cuts like nine years ago, I, I probably felt worse when I was cutting weight then. Wow. 
rather than I kind of took nothing to chance this time. And it just was just an incredibly easy kind of, uh, I guess, bringing it down during the week and then coming back up was, was just, as I said, probably the easiest time I've ever cut weight. That's amazing. And so you, you go through all that and, and, and you, you strike me as a pretty sort of calm, cool and collected guy, but considering it had been, you know, since 2014, your last fight, how nervous were you before the fight? Like in the locker room before you're about to make the walk, were you more nervous than usual? Uh, no, funny enough, I, I don't know whether I was, I was expecting maybe to be, but I, I wasn't. It was just the same thing of like, I guess, you know, you're in a hall of 10,000 people. God know how many people watching worldwide, but you're just like, you know what? I got a job to do. I just got to concentrate on that job. I can't think about all the people watching and who are here. I've just got to kind of crack on really. So I kind of almost, I guess, zone them out and not focus about it. Okay. Wow. So you were okay. Uh, we hear about a thing called cage rust, octagon rust, ring rust, all that stuff. But that's usually from people who are out a year or two. Uh, uh, you were out, you know, over eight. How did you feel in the opening minutes? Of course, you're training. You, so you, it's not like you're first time fighting in eight years, but you know, it's different when you're under I, the lights and you're going against someone who isn't the training partner or someone. So how did you feel in the first round or so, like, how did your body feel out there? What it felt fine during the first round. I, the, the one thing that I kind of, I guess, chuckled to myself when I was in there was like, we like, we knew he had a jumping left hook and it was like, Oh, we got to be careful of the left hook. You know, and the first thing he basically punched me up was a jumping left hook. And I was just oh. like, laughed at myself like, God, we've done everything. Like, and he, he's caught me with the one thing where we're like, okay, just be careful because it's what he's going to do. You know, stay long on your jab and stuff. But uh, other than that, it was fine. After that, you know, kind of just just kept the pressure on, like just uh, in the stand up, backed him up, got him near the cage, and then kind of synced in a takedown. Really, you went the distance, and I saw something. Correct me if I'm wrong. Where you said uh, you were disappointed you didn't get the finish, but um, perhaps silver lining is you went 15. You know, you, you were making up for lost time. So why were you disappointed about that? I think for, for me as a fighter, I always kind of, I guess, look for almost like perfection is what I want. And for, for me, perfection would have been having that fight. And then I, ideally, I'd get in the finish in the second round or I almost caught a side or I got into position to catch a side choke, I think, twice quickly in quick succession in the third round. And that would have just been perfection for me. If, if I'd kind of done the performance I did and got the stoppage or, or the side choke would have been great. But do you know what? Yeah, as I said, I guess it just gets out more ring rust. Yeah, you know, going the fifteen minutes, going that distance is quite cool. I mean, in the first round, we we're having kind of a discussion with the ref on like whether the calf stomps I was doing were illegal because he was a downed opponent. So it was just quite funny. The ref was good and vocal throughout it, telling me all that. So we were kind of talking back and forth a little bit, <laughs> and making sure like, okay, like this is illegal, okay. And then like, he kind of had a little word of me and Leo in one of the other rounds because I was just treading on the back of his calf. He's like, remember, don't stamp it. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, no, not stamping it. We did that. <laughs> kind of had that in the first round of like stepping down in his car, but he was like, that's oh, a stomp for a down opponent. That is amazing. You, you got your hand raised and it's, I was, I was going over it. Um, last time you won a fight, it was on the same card that Stefan Struve knocked out Stipe Miacic in September of 2012. Right. I mean, feels like another lifetime ago. Can you describe what that moment felt like for you after everything you've been through, the surgeries, the doubt? Uh, I'm sure it wasn't easy on your body. I'm sure it wasn't easy for your family as well. What was that moment like when, you know, you, you, you finally got that hand raised again 10 years later? Just a great moment. Almost words can't describe, you know, it's, it's glorious, you know. It's what glorious is. It's why we do these kind of things is to kind of get that victory in there. You know, it's winning, which is uh, what matters and kind of just get a good performance. That was just perfect. And and now, uh, some 48 hours later, how is your body holding up after a 15-minute fight? You okay? Yeah, all good. A uh, little bruise on the hand. To be honest, it's, it's funny. It's those things where, like, you had kind of uh, in the weeks building up to it, like, like, like twinge in the ankle and this and the other, which is, like, probably the most painful things where you're like, okay, like, I can now, I guess, focus on that and kind of get a little bit of rehab on it and kind of get a bit more mobility back in the ankle and, and fix that up. But we're good. I'll be get back training probably uh, lightly tomorrow and just start picking up again this week. Okay. And like the stomach, that, that whole region, everything all good. Yeah. Everything's all good. Wow. Amazing. A couple, couple beers after the match and that was, <laughs> that was pretty much it. Amazing. What, did you have any beef jerky or anything? Any celebratory? Uh, uh we actually, funnily enough, I'd, we just got some normal kind of a, was it like the, the American brand, like Jack Links in America, but we didn't really have a uh, too much. I've got no homemade stuff at the moment. Okay. I mean, uh, I finished, finished all my sauerkraut and everything else before kind of a competition. Okay. I'll have to re re remake that. Uh, so when we spoke before the fight, you were talking about like how the UFC gave you the okay, this and that, you know, to take this fight and to fight with Octagon, but you have a multi-fight deal with them unless the UFC comes calling. What do you think happens now for you? 
I have no idea. As I said, like, I'll get back kind of up to London on a, on Wednesday. We'll get back kind of in, into the mix of training. I know Octagon have, have got plenty of fights they want to offer me. They've got kind of active welterweight division. So for now, I guess I'll, I'll just focus on what I can do and what I know can happen, which is is with them in, in that. And then if the UFC come calling, then we'll, I guess we'll jump on that hurdle when it kind of comes, really. Uh, do you think you'll fight again this year or, do, or is that too ambitious? Uh, I know they've got a card, I think, beginning of December and end of December. Huh. So I'd probably look, if I'm going to do it, it'll be end of December or it'll be beginning of next year. But I said, we'll, we'll kind of talk to the coaches yeah, on, yeah. Uh, on Wednesday and kind of go from there, really. But yeah, I mean, they, they've already happily said they'll get me on either at some point this year or um, beginning of next. End of December is pretty quick turnaround. I, You're okay again, with it? I, I mean, I'm lucky that I'm unscathed kind of thing. Yeah. So... I mean, other than that, as long as I don't get any else between now and then, I'm, I'm all good. You or your team hear from the UFC throughout all of this? All, you know, all the attention that you were getting or even after the fight, did you hear anything from them? Uh, I haven't yet, but I mean, I, I haven't checked too much with it. So, but I said, I, I will check this week. Yeah. It's, just let them know what's happening and stuff. I know I've had a, like a little Yasada message last week. It was, but just one <laughs> of those reminders of like, don't forget to check in and, and log in your DL. You're like, all right. Yep. Amazing. You were probably yeah, the, done. you were probably the, by far the cleanest fighter on this card. You're the only one getting tested by USADA on this I entire know, card, right? It's, it's, good. it's nice to know. Do you know what I mean? At least I'm, I'm clean. I'm tested. It's good. You I'm know, happy with that. You, you went through such a long period where you were kind of out of sight, out of mind. You were in, in this sort of like MMA darkness. And then the last few weeks, back into the forefront people talking about you you're doing interviews there's features on you and all this stuff what has that been like for you all this you know this this attention once again for so many years no one was talking about you you were kind of like you know there's so much going on it's easy to forget about people but now you're have you enjoyed that or uh do you kind of wish that this wasn't a part of the gig i mean it doesn't really bother i'm, I'm happy to do it do you know i mean I, one of the nice things was we had a, a guy kind of doing like a bit of a documentary thing on us out there and uh the sound guy, what he was with, he's like, oh, I've got UC, like I'm on this kind of medication. It's it's all the same medication what, what I went through, do you know what I mean? So I get to talk to him being like, oh, how are you feeling? When did it start? He's had it actually, he had it much longer than me or like from a younger age than me. So probably the same same amount of time. But you know, it's just nice to be able to help people. Like I said, I've, I've had more people message me about oh. either having it or I've been through it and stuff like that. So it's nice to kind of, I guess the more I, I, I do publicity wise, the more people know about it and the more people are open to talk about it. Yeah. I bet. Yeah. I was going to ask you about that. If people have been reaching out and saying that you're an inspiration that, I mean, if you can come back and fight, um, they can get back to a normal life, let alone fight. That must feel really great, right? To be that sort of role model for people dealing with this. Cause I'm sure it is not an easy thing to have to deal with. I most certainly, I said like some of them have been going through some of the people I spoke to just going through, through hell. Do you know what I mean? Hard yeah. times and stuff. And again, the, the one of them has been through like, or like has the same worries what I had where he's like, oh, I'm worried about going on biologicals. It's, it's flaring up more and stuff. And I just had to be like, I mean, I was just honest with him, like what I've been through. I was like, the biologicals worked really well for me for a while as well. Like, don't be scared of them. You know, I didn't want to do the uh, immunosuppressants. I didn't want surgery even at the beginning, but I'm happy that I've had it all and gone through it and, and kind of come out the other side. And it's, it's totally doable for him. What is a realistic goal for you in the rest of your career now? Like, do, do you believe in your heart you can be a UFC champion? Is this something that you are shooting for? Or are you just happy to get a few fights in? What are you thinking? For me, I'll, I'll, I'll get another fight or two in, see how the body is. Again, I still feel like I can improve on the performance I had on the, on the weekend, you know? So uh, as much as definitely when I first started fighting, it was, it was UFC gold, and that was what I had my eyes on and stuff. But for now, I'll, I'll have a couple of fights. It's, I mean, I'd love it if I get back to that level, but we'll just see how kind of obviously each step up in competition, see how kind of I perform and whether I can keep going up and up in my level. You know, I believe I can definitely improve in everything what I've, I've already shown on the weekend. So, Was there anything about this experience that surprised you that you weren't expecting that, that happened? You were like, oh, wow. I not so much. I just loved every minute of it. It's fun. You know, you can see me smiling in the cage like I, I normally am. The same way I am when I'm, I'm sparring and doing stuff. It was just a really enjoyable experience and a, a great show to fight on. Well, it was uh, the best thing I think that happened in MMA this past weekend. Delighted for you. Congratulations. Welcome back officially now. And I can't wait to see how this story continues to unfold. A lot of people are are rooting for you, John. And uh, I just think it's amazing mm -hmm. that you've been able to come all the way back to, to now have success fighting again. It's, it's truly remarkable. So welcome back, my friend. And thanks for coming back on. 
Thank you very much for having me on, sir. And I look forward to hopefully speaking to you again in the future. Absolutely. There he is, John Hathaway, victorious this past Saturday at Octagon uh, 36. What a lovely, lovely guy, right? I mean, is there anyone nicer than John Hathaway? Absolutely I like, not. I feel like he doesn't have a, a, a mean, negative bone in his body. I feel like you can learn a lot of things from John Hathaway, Frank. It's always so negative. 